On June 22, 2020, Microsoft announced that Mixer was shutting down to partner with Facebook Gaming. Ninja and Shroud, who previously had contracts with Mixer, were free to stream on Twitch again. Okay, chat. Chat doesn't chat. There's a lot to unpack here, okay? I know this is the big news right now, chat, but there, there's, the, guys, listen. The, there's more than you think, I think. Mixer partners, the streamers, the community, today, we've got some very big news for you. Why we've decided to close operations inside of Mixer. We're officially partnering with Facebook Gaming, and we're cordially inviting you all. One thing, one thing that's actually interesting, that I, I think people missed in the last couple days, is, chat, isn't it that, that you guys might have missed in the news in the last couple days? Facebook Gaming, uh, 15 bugs. They keep applying and filing to be on the fucking uh, Apple Store, and they keep getting denied. They literally cannot get the app on the uh, onto the fucking onto the fucking the App Store. Um, why? Okay. So if this is complicated, okay, it's a little bit out of my expertise level. It's uh, it's way above my pay grade. But I think it's because that Facebook Gaming has like their own like um little, like the games from Facebook or whatever. And it's kind of like sort of competing with like it's it's game store or something like that. I don't know, dude. It's something around the long lines. It, it, it's complicated. I don't. I, I read it like five times. I couldn't fucking understand it that much. You. That's not it. Uh -huh. it, it pretty. I, it, it kind of is. Facebook is making mixer partner signs NDA to enter the Facebook gaming partner program. But I have this again and again, and people, people keep trying to discredit my opinions, and I'm always correct about this. Okay. So it's not too. that much. That buying streamers out is bad. The yes. bad move is that some of these in infrastructures the aren't right. ready. The the infrastructures are bad. The interface suck. There's glitches. It's just not ready. Bad. The interface suck. There's glitches. It's just not ready. Even if, even if, even if the vessel or the fucking spaceship wasn't that good, right? It could it can still get carried by how much fuel it has or whatever, right? But the problem is that it's all flawed. It's like designed to fail, dude. It's why it's so like um, don't. But yeah. oh, they leak it. Well, if you leak, if you leak to a trustable uh, outlet, like oh, no, 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 no. I mean, slasher maybe. Probably not slasher. Um, somebody that has like a lot to lose, you know. They they usually don't. They're not gonna put your name in it. So why not leak it? If you were offered a contract, dude, and you're not gonna take it, and you take your name off of it, why not? Well, I had to get everybody on board again because now there's a lot of information we missed. What happened, okay, is that people that don't know, okay, Mixer, they're kind of like merging like Facebook gaming. And they ceased all like mixed operations. Love you, from what I've heard, from, I've heard, from sources or whatever, or the, the, the Twitter thread, they offered, they offered to Shroud and Ninja, right, even more money to continue with the merger. To, you know, to continue from Mixer, for the, from their Mixer deal. To Facebook. Apparently, according to sources, about double or something. Double the amount. I don't know why they did it, okay? I, mean, I kind of have an idea. I don't want to speculate too much. But they said no. And instead, they forced their hands to buy them out. They, they forced their hand to pay out the rest of their, of their contract of Mixer. One tap, right? That's how it would work. Just like basketball or something. 30 million dollars and 10 million dollars juicer but wait i thought about this okay i thought about this i don't believe this put the brakes on this just chill for now chill but chill but chill if they said no to potentially let's say just let's say let's just put some numbers out there let's say 60 and 20 it's a lot of money that that they said no to right or yeah yeah it's 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 30 more whatever but, yeah, there's taxes, but w as a society, we don't talk about numbers after tax. It's just something that we, do, we don't do. When we talk about revenue and shit like that, and salaries, and buyouts, we only talk pre-tax. It's just so everybody understands, and everybody's on the same page. Otherwise, we, we'll get lost in translation and things get, things get hazy. Yeah, they said no, right? And then Ninja says, what, what, I'm, I'm putting, putting, putting that in together. He said, I have to make a decision, but why? There's no decision to make, unless, unless, unless there actually is options now. Not only did he win on both sides, he got to get the money and get out. He got both. The, 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 he's probably getting more offers, new kind of offers. They're probably good enough to compete with the discomfort of going to Mixer or going to Facebook 
for an extra 30 million. Is everybody, is everybody on board with that idea? If, 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 they, if they said no to 60 million, and then he says that he has a decision to make, it's probably because he has offers coming in that are either competing or sort of competing with the extra money he would get for this. My, uh, my guess, my guess, is either YouTube and Twitch, which probably means that YouTube is offering more, but with less numbers and less comfort than he would get with Twitch. But maybe the money downgrade that they would get with Twitch would still mend his numbers and heal his analytics to get a better contract when those end. Yeah, this is getting a little bit crazy, but this is, this is how I see it. Because they can definitely heal the numbers back. The problem with their big mixer deal is that they could have damaged their audience like beyond repair, even when they come back. Now, guys, when they come back, ch chat, when they're about to come back to Twitch, the numbers will be somewhat close to what they were before. Like, people didn't watch them because they didn't like their streams. The people stopped watching, stopped watching them because of convenience. So, dude, dude, don't chat. Stop tagging fucking the Twitch staff in the chat, dude. I mean, Shrouds would, but I know about Ninja. Yeah, I mean, Ninja was already going down, so yeah, uh, it'd be interesting. It is just a wild guess, guys. This is a wild, guys, this is just a wild guess. I don't want to involve Twitch into something that I, that I don't know anything about. But since Ninja said that, he, that he's that he's in a big question mark right now, then um, I have to assume that that there are competing offers between this, this, and his old deal for free money. That is interesting, chat. chat it, I know it's like um like weird talking and like a uh, streamer talk, but it, it's interesting because yeah, you can say who cares? Everybody, everybody cares. Yeah, what about Ninja, dude? I love a community and we'll be built to leave on Mixer. I have some decisions to make and we'll be thinking about you as, as I make them. Guys, this is crazy, chat. This like changes everything. Team Ninja is next, joining us on the T1. This is crazy. Then he's definitely gonna stream on Twitch, probably. He's already insecure by his viewers on Twitch. Yeah, but dude. What's dude, going on? dude, let's in chat. What? Oh my gosh. Uh, as much right as you can now. say, oh Facebook dude, he's what? insecure by viewers. Dude, how insecure can you be I when just you just got a lump sum of fucking 30 million dollars, dude? Boy. Like, how insecure, dude, really? Like, 30 mil, dude? Guys, this is like winning the Guys, this is better than winning the lottery. This is, this is like One, way, 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 way better than smart. winning the actual fucking lotto. Nothing really changes. Instead, you get promoted. Because, you, you know, you, you, you subscribe to Mixer. If you, you guys, moving away from Mixer is getting promoted. Losing your job is a promotion. That's just kind of how it is. I'm not, I don't want to be rude about this, but that's just, that's just the reality of it. So in this instance, losing your job is getting a better job. Incredible. One million dollars per viewer. I've never seen a man drive so fast to the bank home at DL. I think the streaming sphere is difficult to share. Okay, literally it's kind of like YouTube and Vimeo and Daily Motion. Like one will completely obliterate the others, and it is gonna like just feast on them. I never, I got offered a sixty million to fuck your mom. I said yes. Jesus Christ! They definitely pay you to fuck it. That's insane, dude. But yeah, channels and chat. You also have to understand that, dude. A bunch, a bunch of families and shit lost their jobs. You know. Employees lost their jobs, uh, streamers lost their... Yeah, I get it, okay? I'm not gonna throw them under the bus, but most Facebook streamers, or a, a, a lot of them, the didn't go to Mixer because because Twitch is inconsistent with their bands. Most of them went to Mixer because it's an easier path. High discoverabilities because of raw numbers, and it's just, um, it's kind of like the shortcut type of thing. Facebook has like a crazy amount of shit to do, like a crazy amount to make their thing, to, ma to make their product consumable, dude. Right now their product is like, just really bad. They're probably getting offered like a, either like a deal to like YouTube and or Twitch or whatever. Cause Ninja said he had to make a decision, right? So my thought, mm -hmm. my thought was that, um, he, I mean, I mean, they, didn't they get like a like like the whole? Didn't they get bought out? So their contract is over, yes. and they get all the money out of yes. it. And now they kind of like um, they're at the crossroads now, because I'm sure that, dude, I'm sure that YouTube is probably sending them a number, and then, and then Twitch, and then they can they can go from there, right? Yeah, it's gonna be between YouTube and Twitch to battle it out. Okay, so maybe I was thinking too far into it, but my thought was like, oh, okay, maybe they'll sign for a little bit less or something with Twitch, heal their numbers, analytics, rebuild the brand, and then 
when that contract is over, they can even, you probably get even another. Yes, uh, you are you are totally right. I do not think that either one will do a one year. I fully expect either of them to be two year, where you're not going to be able to just build it up in one year and then sign again to another contract. That they're going to be locked in for kind of significant long length of time. Yes, yeah, so obviously, I mean, the, obviously they have, they have something happening or going on that is kind of like. Not close, but somewhat comfortable to that like thirty million dollars that, that they could have gotten at Facebook Gaming. Yeah, but what about for you? I mean, we just spent like twenty minutes talking about you. Where yeah, what about you me? Might what am I gonna do? You literally might be the number one free agent on the platform because you've been on Twitch this entire time. You are kind of the number one streamer on Twitch. You are the number one free agent, from what I understand. You are not locked in. You are not like signed. Uh, you have not re-signed your like an exclusive contract. So if Facebook came to you with an insane offer, is that something that you would consider? These questions are always like odd to answer because there's like a lot of specifics, right? It, I, I think I, I, I think it's unreasonable to even found the idea of Mishima on Mixer or, or, or on Facebook Gaming. Anything that feels like, a, that feels right, that feels competitive, that feels like, um, that feels like, like your daily life matters or whatever, that kind of like just fades away, right? I would feel like you would get lost a lot. So there, there's no way that nobody would like compete with that or whatever. Like if that, if it came down to it, like right now did, there's no way that nobody would, nobody would try to compete or, or try to, cause that's like, that's, isn't that like damaging when you, when you alter a product for money like that or something? Yeah, I mean, it's better suddenly now. I mean, I think Ninja and Shroud, of course, overall, the reason they took it was money, but they each gave their own other reasons other than money for why they switched over. It wasn't it yeah. wasn't just money that they re... I mean, they could, of course. You could see that they are lying. I, I will 100% stand by this. I said it back then, and I say it still. I think it's very competitive when you're at the top of the space uh, at Twitch, and I think that they, they saw a way to make a lot of money and still play video games and still do what they love. Uh, I think for Shroud, it was like he wanted a smaller community where you can play video games. I think for Ninja, he was like, I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose relevance on Twitch and make less money uh, year over year because it's super duper competitive to to uh, build your audience and maintain your audience, especially when it's so closely tied to Fortnite. Uh, he he just uh, saw an out and he did the, now we know he did the right thing. He did the smart choice. Okay, the, well, the interface, the interface on Mixer, is like um it, it's kind of like the, um, it's disingenuous to what it feels on Twitch, but it wasn't that bad. But Facebook is like a completely different thing. Like it's it's why it's why I wouldn't take it, because that would be like um I don't know, man. It's like it's like it's like building like your your entire life like uh like want to ride bicycles, dude, and like training and shit and competing with it and knowing the uh, the scene, your peers and shit. At the end, being like. Yo, dude, would you take a 50 million dude, to just uh, to play fucking ping pong? It's kind of like, uh, you know, it, it's too different. Does that make sense? It's well, you like still get to play Overwatch, though. I mean, yeah, but... like, yeah the, the entire chat experience is gone. Yeah, but you have to remember. Like, who's the culture? Yo, yo, you have to remember. It's like, it's like if you were uh, you were playing ping pong and you had all these like ping pong enthusiasts yeah. uh, watching you that spoke your language, and then you. Uh, you went to a different country for larger money and you no longer have uh, the same kind of fandom but you're making more money now but you're still playing ping pong for Shroud I think Shroud loves to play ping pong or Ninja I think Ninja didn't want to be at the top of the ping pong game anymore or didn't think that he could still maintain his irrelevance so he was gonna take the he's gonna take the big bucks and move over to a different country and you know take the take the cut uh, in his audience that way rather than the cut in his audience as a consequence of the cut in his audience as a consequence of like uh, Fortnite dying out uh, yeah. or not being as, as relevant as it was before yeah but also it, it, i mean this is the, the, the be, this is literally the best of all the worlds not the best of both worlds, of all the worlds so now they they get to keep the money right uh -huh. they get to have options and on top of that they also get to uh heal their numbers and not completely go like uh, off the face of the earth does that make sense like it, they, they get to like come back and not, they're not, you know they don't have to they don't have to keep streaming on, on other platforms with with lower numbers and and, and lose all the followers you know like um it, i think it's a big opportunity it's a big opportunity for them to rebuild and I yeah think... they got so many w's oh yeah they, they won out so fucking hard yeah yeah no good. this was insane dude oh, this oh. was insane oh, you know what dude? you know it's crazy also there's a bunch of streamers that didn't i think not a lot of people are talking about this that there's a bunch of people that uh, that didn't sign the mixer. Think about how they're feeling. They literally missed out on winning the lottery. Yeah. 
And I know yeah. all of them. They, a bunch of them didn't sign. And yeah. they, they resigned with either Twitch or YouTube. And they literally missed out on actual winning the lottery for free. With literally almost no cost. Apparently, someone did the math. Ninja made $92,000 for every day that he, sh uh, he streamed on Mixer. $92,000 every day they streamed on Mixer for the amount of money he got from them. Allegedly, if it's $30 million. Jesus, really? Hey, yeah. Night two. yeah. That's fucking nuts, dude. That's like That's a three times end, the amount. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was, it's such an insane deal. It is the, it's the greatest deal ever made. I, it's, it's literally just, well, I, well, I, I, I was well, wrong. I like, been... I'll admit I was wrong. I thought it was going to be. What I thought would have been cool is if they gave like a, like a thousand bucks to like almost all the partners at make sure they just lost their jobs or lost their partnership that aren't going to fucking Facebook. Cause they just got like a lump sum, right? This, this has got to be some sort of lump sum transfer, right? Yep. That would have been nice. I don't think they're going to do I mean, that. I mean, that'd be so hard to fucking figure out too, but yeah. Okay. Is there, um, okay, obviously it can just be the money, but what if, uh, and dude, this could actually happen. What if Facebook came to you and you were able to request changes of the, like if you were able to force Facebook into okay. making the platform better on question. top of the money, would that change anything? It's a good question. Um, still no. I'll explain, I'll explain. Because um, I think there are like track records, right? A good example is YouTube, right? To where they, they've had advice, they've had feedback, they've had e expertise from a, lot of, from a lot of places and fields. And even after everything, they, they still can't uh, manage to fix the problems. And they can't like, uh, actually like, um, make the platform succeed in, in streaming. And I, that's kind of how I about Facebook that you would you would face roadblocks in terms of what you can change right and there'd be a lot of roadblocks that, uh, down the road and i i think it's beyond saving but maybe i'm wrong but i, I don't get me wrong i'd love i'd love to be proven wrong i'd love for them to, to show everybody that they that, that they, they can can face their platforms and can do better right does that make sense? Like, I actually fix a platform, make discover really good, make make uh, I don't know, like notifications of, of going live, make the interface look good, make the chat experience decent, make the fucking. Are you talking, page... about, are you talking about the opportunity a larger streamer like Ninja would have in in having a say in ch making significant changes on a new platform yes, that they would yes, not necessarily yes. have on Twitch? I think yeah, Mixer right. like it's a, got it's better. A, it's a much it's a bigger problem though because like one you don't know. You don't know how uh, a company is going to respond because just like what we just saw with Microsoft, ultimately what they care about is their bottom line. And if they're not making money, uh, they are just not going to listen to you, even if you have the best intentions, if you have the best fucking ideas, because you don't have that kind of power. Okay, uh, so okay. You, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not wrong. Most of these people in, in their office, in these offices, they're like kind of boomers. They're completely out of touch. Yeah. If, if anything, they should listen to people that don't have the money. They should listen to the, the people that had success, the people that have success with their own platforms, with their own brand, with their own channels, regardless. Even when there's hints that people, that people can do good and have good ideas on their own and they have a track record of that, they should listen to them, dude. Because they know better. Because obviously, what yeah, they're, what, no, they're what, dumb. They're what, dumb as fuck. Yeah, whatever they're doing is clearly not working it. So I, we can talk about how, how this guy's idea might not work, or that streamer's idea, or this guy doesn't know, but clearly whatever they're doing is clearly not working it. So that, that's, we, we got that out, out you know, like that, that's confirmed. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because, so at that stage, and I, I, I say this as someone who's worked on uh, the business development side of a startup, a media startup at the Young Turks, and someone who's worked with like Google and ad executives and shit like that, I know how the fuck they operate. You're right. They don't give a fuck. They don't know. They don't know any better. And they're following all the trends like five years behind. Um, when I first when I first uh, did the rounds, uh, agents would agencies would always bring up book deals. That was their main thing. And I would talk Books. about podcasts. This was like five years ago. I was like, well, podcasts are a big deal. Uh, you know, I should probably do a podcast. And they were like, oh, dude, no, no, no. You got to do a book deal. Now, five years later, I'm on fucking Twitch and I'm like, this is the fucking pioneer. This is in the front lines. You need to pay attention to this. And they're like, oh, you got to do a podcast. Is there five years behind and nothing is going to change them? Uh, nothing is going to change their mentality because 
it's it's just like you said it's older people set in their ways yeah very difficult for them to very difficult for them to pay attention and it's a self-reinforcing uh bubble that they're inside of where like all these other old people are telling them yes you're right um you know and and uh, they're risk averse too well you know what did it did i i don't want to speak like too highly myself or, or streamers did but it's something I've talked about before. People have said, oh, dude, what if streaming disappeared tomorrow, dude? What would you do? Are you going to be a homeless or whatever? I'm like, dude, of course not. There's a, there's a crazy amount of job in esports and, and in, in, in gaming and in, in streaming that are like vacant or they're, they're just waiting for somebody that knows what they're doing to show up, right? There's a crazy amount of job because they're not like there's so many people that don't know what the fuck they're doing, right? And you, you, could, you could get a job in there. And if I had two lives, I'd, I'd love to do that. Make things exciting, make things like like fresh, and, and make things like uh, good for like for like like events or or, or 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 platforms or for brands or whatever, right? There's like a. I feel like there's a big. Yeah, you're like, saying you'll find a way. You'll find a way because there's a lot of there is a there's a lot of areas where you could be valuable as an asset to these uh, companies because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. As someone who's demonstrated their worth in a space and has done a, a good job. Yeah, I mean, Grow, with your growth. Who else are, you gonna, are they going to listen to? Because obviously, like I said, whoever they're listening to right now, and and whoever they're taking advice from, it's just fucking not working. So, I mean, why bother going down that route and doubling down on that? Yeah, it's just, it's just uh, internally they, uh, internally they, as long as they can keep justifying their budgets, they're fine. Like they're not going to, they're not going to make any risky moves, um, because what they're doing technically still works even if it's failing uh and and uh not working it still it still works in the sense of like the, you know the company's still alive it's not like microsoft is taking a gigantic hit they 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 calculate this ahead of time they calculate the failure of mixer ahead of time before it even ends up failing you see what i'm saying yeah so for them it's like yeah whatever okay we tried we failed who gives a fuck the people that suffer are usually the smaller streamers uh, like those mixer streamers are crying right, right now about what the fuck they're gonna do. Their future is in in a state of uh, okay. like chaos. Okay, I and also the people that worked on Mixer that learned about Mixer going away uh, a couple hours ago. Yeah. Um, okay. I I didn't want to be like a unreasonable about this. Whatever. Um, I feel like some people took like Mixer as like um like an easier way to make it than Twitch. Whatever, even though Twitch is like the superior platform. Can right? yeah, we talk a little bit about this? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, Twitch is, was just uh, the superior product, and and some people took Mixer as like a as like a shortcut, and it sucks, but it kind of it didn't pay off, and it, it you know, it kind of got fucked over for it, which kind of sucks. But um, you know, it is what it is, I guess. I mean, that way of thinking, I mean, it shows that that wasn't accurate. Even though that Mixer was smaller, and if you thought about it, it would be easier to grow bigger with less competition and with less profit. It shows that there was just not enough people on it in the first place, and there was no way that those small people were going to grow in the first place because there's just not enough total viewership yeah. on the platform to begin with. It wasn't organic at all. It was just, um, yeah. And by the way, I was asking you a question about if you could change the platform, but as you mentioned, um, I do not foresee facebook being able to fix the no i um, it's not it's not happening okay so my thought is that they would have to make uh facebook gaming a completely separate product than facebook to the point where it would become like um almost unrecognizable they would have to butcher the they, yeah this was a semi they would they would have to literally re reset the whole thing and that's just not happening because yeah. right now there's a problem with with the interface the way it looks the directories, the discoverability, the live features, the chat, like just the, the entire structure is all like rotten, dude. Like it, it's so hard to come back from that, dude, especially in a space where like, you know, the market share isn't like swaying left and right like crazy, you know? It's like people were like, if they're going to buy out streamers and do big moves, they have to make sure that the infrastructure is ready ahead of time. I mean, YouTube is still a total mess. YouTube uh, is the yeah, largest video uh, yeah. platform in the world, if and any, they've yeah, had if so anything, YouTube long. YouTube has a better chance because Facebook also doesn't even have the fucking audience right now. Facebook does not. Facebook has an insane amount of active users, but they're all really fucking old. They're not in the demographic that would watch like live streaming. 
uh, on a regular basis unless it's just like news coverage or some shit like that. Uh, and and Facebook doesn't want to do that because it's risky and it's Dude, political. Fa YouTube is by far the biggest video platform in the world, yeah. and you still can't find jack shit about the live video on yeah, YouTube. Not, YouTube. There's no YouTube has an incredible opportunity here to capitalize. They could poach fucking. They could poach Ninja. They could poach all the top fucking Twitch streamers and literally just strike a blow to the heart of Twitch, like Twitch has never fucking seen before. I... But I feel like they just don't give a shit. Like I... they they literally don't give a shit. I don't even think I agree that much. Um, I think Twitch has shown time and time again that it all comes down to convenience. A little, uh, uh, maybe I'm going out of my, uh, on a limb here, a little bit like Netflix and whatnot, to where like when somebody like leaves, a portion of their hardcore following comes with them, right? A lot of people stay. They're just going, okay. Well, I'll watch the other guy in the directory. Okay, I'll watch the next one. I big, bigger streamer. Oh, oh, the number one is gone. Okay, I'll watch the new number one. They, they just, they just click off. Right? Yeah, that's why and that's why they're trying to move streamers to a different platform. Yeah, but it, but it's not that big of a blow to Twitch themselves. Because like I said, YouTube's infrastructure isn't ready to catch all the fish and make the best of it. Right? Yeah, you're Their right. Their net is fully open and the fish are just slipping through it. So even if they bible out, people are just trickling out of it immediately. No, no, no. You're you're right. You're yeah. absolutely correct. I'm saying that YouTube has a better shot than Facebook if they were to fix their infrastructure because yeah, yeah, they do. have to fix their infrastructure and also be able to bring in an audience there. Except every single person that's on Twitch definitely still uses YouTube because everyone on the internet uses YouTube. YouTube already captivates those demographics that uh, are Twitch watchers. Uh, as a matter of fact, every Twitch streamer knows like you have to have a YouTube channel and have to have a YouTube presence so that your Twitch stream can even fucking uh, continue to grow. So like if YouTube Live didn't suck dog shit tomorrow, if they like fucking actually listen to some content creators like you said and if they had the energy and interest to change youtube live they could fucking actually overtake twitch in a couple of years as a little premium live streaming destination they just won't do it and i don't think they are going to do it uh I, I feel like they just don't give a shit um like their their youtube chat sucks their user interface sucks their their live streaming uh, their their live streaming capabilities are are there on the back end, but they don't just don't do anything about it. Like they, I don't even know when streamers that I fucking or I don't even know when YouTubers that I subscribe yeah. to are live. Yeah, it's crazy. The, like I said, the, the, there must be a reason behind something. Maybe they don't want to make their product um, too different from what YouTube is as a whole, and it, maybe they're they're like afraid of making the bad moves. But uh, honestly, dude, I Destiny, listen. I told this, this Destiny a bunch of times, okay? And Destiny have said, yo, dude, um, and he actually agreed with me at the end, I actually kind of, like, quote unquote, won a debate, where he was like, oh, dude, if, if YouTube wanted it, they could do it. Like, look how much muscle they have. Look, 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 look how many viewers they have. Look, look, look how much, um, if you think, look at the, uh, if you look at raw numbers, look at how many people there is on YouTube, not YouTube, YouTube gaming or YouTube streaming, whatever. YouTube itself, look how much muscle they have. It's fucking insane compared to Twitch, right? It's literally, what, like, like 106 times more? And like, like, like how it's, it's insane, right? They, they have a lot, but they're, they're failing to translate their, their YouTube audience and their YouTube viewers to live audience and live viewers. They failed to do that. So it doesn't matter how much muscle they have. They, they had failed over and over again to actually make a transition and, and to actually um, make a transmutation of, of, of the, of the audience. And the track record shows that it's just not, it's not changing and it's not getting better. So, what but, what makes people think that it's gonna change overnight, and, and they're gonna they're gonna find it the the rest no, of success? No, I don't think it's gonna change overnight. I'm just saying that they have the power, they have the capacity. They're just not doing it, and I don't know why the fuck they're not doing it. Really, maybe they just don't care enough about it. I don't know. Yeah, it's just the the both Facebook and YouTube as platforms are not they were not built to host live video. Like, that is part of the biggest reason why they are not able to make this work. YouTube, while it is a video platform, was made for VODs, and Facebook was made to be a social media website. Neither of them were made to host, like, an entire live video directory and everything that comes with it. They don't have... They might be the run by Google and Facebook, the biggest two tech companies in the world, but they're not able to fucking fix this mm -hmm. fucking shit. Mm -hmm. Websites are so fucked up. They, they need to build entirely new platforms that are separate from the main platforms, I think, if they're ever going to be able to fully succeed. Yeah. I, I don't think they would, they would go for that strategy, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Um, 
Okay, well, thanks for talking to me, boys. Thanks for. Uh, wait, well, no, wait, 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 wait. Did I, didn't you yeah. come on and want to talk about the uh, the sexual call stuff? Yeah, the insanity of the gamers, or did was it just the um? Oh, it was just that. Wait, we're just talking about the girls now. Yeah, we were talking about that when you came in. This, this is like this. This is your area of expertise because you guys are in this space for a lot longer than I have been. So I, that's why I haven't really been talking too much about. I I, I don't go to events. Uh, I I I don't. I, I've seen it firsthand, like uh, like weirdos at events and whatnot, and how people overbearing um, and weird towards women. But um, I don't really go to events, uh, like packs or whatever. I don't really how it is uh, that much, you know. I mean, I mean, I've seen it. It just um, like I'm not like super familiar. Like, like the, there are shimmers that have been like around around, the, around the, um, the sphere. You know, people that like live in California, most of them, and they go to like PAX East, PAX West, TwitchCon, BlizzCon, E3, whatever, right? Like, like I feel like these guys probably have like a bunch of stories to to, um, to say and how like the the game is with the fucking flirting and the weird sexual assault thing, right? Yeah. Like we I, were, I don't know. I, sorry, go ahead. Right. I, will, I was right. saying we were mentioning like the larger cultural implication of why gamers are like like that. Do you, do you think that this is an issue with gamers specifically? Do you okay. agree with any of that? It is an issue, but it it's not a shield. Okay, being gamers and being basin dwellers, okay, makes you socially inept, which is fine, but. It doesn't doesn't give you a, a, an argument that because you were so inept, you you can get away with like sexual assault or misconduct. That's just not a shield that you, they, they can use. And people said, oh yeah, but they're, they're gamers, they don't know. Okay, when you don't know, you don't do. That's kind of how it is. Like as for me, dude, like when it comes down to like um, behavior shit, okay, I'm really bad at reading social cues. Okay, I, I misread the way people will move or, or talk, whatever. Whether it's like, oh, is this going to be my friend? Is get this uh, disgusted? That I smell? Like, I, I just don't read those real well. Right? But, 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 I kind of read like, um, like sexual cues better, right? And basically, I feel like people don't understand that if you, if you, if you're if you're unsure, if you don't know, it's no. It's not like, oh, oh, I try and I fail, whatever. Oh no, uh, that's too bad. You just you just don't do it, right? Does that make sense? If you're, yeah, if, you're if, if, if you're like socially yeah, inept, you can learn and over you time. Think, oh, oh, I think this is sexual. I, I'm gonna go all in on that. No, no, that's just no, dude. I, I don't know why people think that that's okay, and they can use a shield that that they're just um, that they're basin, basin dwellers. Like that's just so stupid. Um. Yeah, I, I think you're right as far as like it's not an it's not an out for these people. Uh, we were looking at like why these problems occur. They occur everywhere. They occur in every industry. They occur in every part of uh, every part of society. Oh, 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 I get it. Well, I, I think with like a content creation like YouTube and, and, and Twitch, whatever, it's a little bit different because it's kind of hard to establish a paper trail behind it. It's like, it's not like somebody got a job or got promoted or something like somebody uh, uh, was offered a contract or, 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 or a figure of money, whatever, for um, their yeah, involvement. Yeah, the coercion, you, you the can just... coercion is what you're looking for. Like, coercion, yeah. when your boss, like, when your boss in a regular fucking workplace yes. fucks the secretary, you're yeah. like, well, that's the boss and the secretary. But when a fucking, you know, 2,000 uh, viewer or 200 viewer uh, Twitch streamer is talking to, like, a Twitch streamer or a YouTuber with like millions and millions of followers, it's much more difficult to, it's much yep. more difficult to say like there's definitely coercion in that circumstance. And there's plenty of fucking instances where like, there's plenty of instances where that that does cultivate into a healthy relationship. So, um, you know, there is, there's always going to be gray areas, but these guys, uh, especially like the, the cases that I've looked at on stream yesterday, they've gone far beyond. Like, it seems like habitual behavior, where they uh habitual behavior where they like fucking very clearly know what kind of power they have and are abusing it what kind of influence they have and they're fucking abusing it like you know locking women into a specific situation that they can't get out of like you and you know trying to i guess in some circumstances like flex their uh capital and flex their clout that they have um and then on top of that like putting them in a situation that's uncomfortable and that like they literally can't get out of uh, and, and even taking yeah. photos and stuff like that to like set themselves up for any sort of future allegations that might come up to 
to make yourself look better. I'm a milk that implies that, I'm that you've been doing this for a fucking very issues. long time. And that implies that you've been doing this for a very long time. And you're, you're like, you know, you're going to keep doing it unless someone fucking calls you out. So, um, you know, it, it's really shit. It's really shit behavior. It's not just like a one-off instance or a gray area or anything like that. And I'm, and I'm someone who believes that there are gray areas uh in in the dynamic between and this is going to be heteronormative sorry for everyone in my chat who gets mad but um uh, uh, relationships between uh men and women uh interpersonal relationships between men and women there are some gray areas like sometimes you don't know or yeah uh, like there are everyone experiences that uh some experience it to a, a much different degree but um but there are things you can do to stay within the margins of acceptability and things you can't do uh and uh, these guys uh, the, most of the uh most of the instances of people that were outed as sexual uh with sexual assault allegations were way beyond uh the gray area yeah i i i, I think what he means by that is like um he's talking about like um possible interactions that would go like oh you know if you're with me like we'll play games and and maybe maybe down the road like you'll meet other players and, and, and you'll network and your stream will grow um compared to yo if you have sex i'll host or something like that right it's something that 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 is more like a gray area than like a than like a crazy like a like out there yeah, suck my dick and i'll and i'll put you on my auto host list yeah like exactly not, not as that like it's never that openly transactional yeah um and some people I don't know. Some people might legitimately not be able to read those situations, but the people that I've seen so far get uh, outed are not in that in that circumstance at all. Like it just those people were very well aware of oh, what yeah, the fuck they were doing. Yeah, I mean, they were very well aware of what the fuck they're doing. They like fly girls out and like pay for their shit, and they get fucking mad when they don't put out. And it's like, um, you know that that sort of stuff. Yeah, is, those is are out really there, dude. Up. Those are yeah, super fucking, fucking out there. Fucking I just, I don't know. Just don't fucking do that, man. Uh, like, be normal. I, I don't know. Be fucking normal. I mean, dude, there's already way too many people since all of this has come out that have been accusing the women of doing this for, or that are doing this to get attention or that are, or that are lying to try to get followers or fame or whatever. That is like, not just a, like a small percentage of people that is somewhat pervasive throughout all the comments I've seen on my Twitter, on in general, on Reddit, whether it's on Twitch chat, um multiple of the streamers i mean it's oh, fine oh, for cool. these guys to defend themselves like that's that's okay but yeah okay well that even though that has that could have a, that could have validity there's also a big track record over time that that whenever uh, especially in this space when somebody does come out even if they're right or a woman is right about something that happened they get like buried and rolled by like the other person's bigger following whatever and it mm -hmm. yeah it's a lot of times they get people don't know anything that happens they get a fucking hard rolled and super buried and hard pressured and then they delete tweets and they they, they delete their twitters and it, it like it happens so as much as much clout yeah. as they can make, as people think that they could that they could gain they could get, they could get like completely rolled over yeah the 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 common the common theme is still as evidenced by the fact that people fucking lose their minds on these girls even if they have like Shout very credible accusations uh the common theme is uh, that you have way more to lose than anything that you could potentially gain when you come out with a sexual assault accusation. You have infinitely more to fucking lose. And not only that, but the data itself does not show this either. There are a, a lot more situations of sexual assault going unreported or sexual assault uh, never actually coming to a, a just conclusion than there are uh, fake accusers. Are there fake accusers? Certainly. There are definitely fake accusers, but it is um it is minuscule when you look at the data it's it's uh, tiny in comparison to the overwhelming amount of sexual assault cases that don't uh even get any sort of coverage or any sort of reporting whatsoever i so. mean for every like amber heard and johnny depp situation where it was more it looked like much more that amber heard was lying about stuff to try to make Depp look okay. bad it is Chat, I'm much I'm more I'm so I'm where I, it, I, I yes, what the women was saying was true and the man usually was a piece of shit and he did what he did but you would never believe that if you read the commentary of what people say online you would think it's like 50 or that girls were lying much more of the time women are not coming out about sexual assault harassment or misconduct to gain fame 
that is not a real thing that happens. It is so hard for these women to be able to express um, to the world and to the public about really fucked up things that have happened to them. They are not gaining like anything from this, especially monetarily from coming out and exposing themselves and real wounds to the world. That is not a real thing that is happening. It's really frustrating to see the amount of defense that some of these streamers and influencers have when when this comes out like these these people with five million followers don't need you to fucking white knight them yeah unless, when, when they were pieces of shit unless there's an establishable an establishable pattern which sometimes there is so it, it's kind of like um it, 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 well, we just can't say that it's 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 the hundred percent but you're right uh okay um boys i'm gonna wrap it up my the, 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 my chat is getting a, a little bit antsy um <laughs> Well, thanks for talking, thanks, right. th th thanks for talking to me. Uh, appreciate the talk. And, um, yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk soon. All right. Thanks, Slash. Right. What's up? See you, see you Felix. See you, man.